What's up guys? I wanted to do a quick unboxing and review of this new tool I got. It's the Win Rotary Tool from Amazon and it's coming up right now. So as I said, this is the Win Rotary Tool. It came packaged in this box here, nothing too fancy, but for the price that it was, you can't expect too much. So I got this tool on Amazon. I'll put a link to the tool in the description below. But it's pretty cheap. Um, as you can see right here, it's listed at $12.57. Or you can buy the unit with a flex shaft, and it's about $18. And I thought I'd try it out because I have a few projects that I'd like to use it for. And it's a lot cheaper than a Dremel. Now I don't have a Dremel tool so I can't do a side-by-side -side comparison but from the reviews that I've read on Amazon it looks like it will work pretty well. So to be perfectly honest I'm not even sure what's supposed to come with this if it's just the tool or if there's any bits that come with it. That packaging looks a little fancier. So it does have a few bits in here it looks like. And then the tool itself. And of course the instructions. That's good to know it comes with a few bits. We'll take a look in here and see if any of them look like they'll be useful at all. Alright, so there's a quick shot of everything that was in the package. So it has a wide variety of bits it looks like. Depending on what you're going to want to use it for, I'm guessing you're probably going to have to go and buy some bits for your specific application anyways. But we can use a few of these to test it out and see how this thing works. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this cutoff wheel, see how it works. Naturally, I'm not going to read the instructions, see if we can just figure it out. Um, it comes with this little shaft that has a screw that comes out. and. Be careful with some of these parts, they're pretty small, they'd be easy to lose. It has two little washers that go on both sides of the cutout wheel. And then it just simply screws on. So with two different tips that you're able to interchange. Um, one's a little bit bigger and one's a little bit smaller, I'm not sure of the exact size. And there's a little button that should keep the tool from spinning that will make it so you can actually screw it on. There it goes, locked into place. It also comes with a little wrench um, in case you think you're not getting it tight enough with your fingers, you can use this to tighten it up. There. So that should be pretty tight. And then you just flip the on switch. And there we have it. So it turns on, um, and there is a speed adjustment. It says you can adjust the speed between 8,000 and 30,000 RPMs. Since we have this box here, we'll do a quick test to see if this will cut through it. It should, hopefully. This is. So, yeah, it cut that pretty easily, which is good because it's cardboard. Alright, so I grabbed a few more things just quickly out of my garage to test it out on. First we have a little piece of wood, let's see how it does with that. And then I have a screw here also. Like I said, I'm sitting here in my kitchen so I don't want to make too big of a mess. So it's cutting that, it's struggling a little bit more. I mean, I don't think the tool is struggling, but more just the tip. And also we can turn up the RPMs here, see if that helps any. All right, so there, cut it. Yeah, when I turned up the RPM speed, it went through it pretty nicely. Let's try cutting through this screw. Hopefully it won't spark too much, um, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> I 
we just about got through the tip of the screw. I was probably putting a little too much pressure on the cutting wheel, just trying to cut it faster, and it ended up breaking the cutting wheel. There's a little chunk of it. So my guess is I do think that this tool will work pretty good for what I want to use it for. Um, just little projects, cutting off uh, screws and things like that. But I don't think that the accessories that come with it are all that great. So you may want to look at um, upgrading those. But for $12, almost $13, I think that this is a pretty good deal for what you're getting. So that's the tool in a quick unboxing and review. If you have a rotary tool, um, put it in the comments below what type you have, what kind of projects you use it for. Hopefully this video is helpful. Please remember to like it and also subscribe to my channel just by clicking my logo.